What's going on and welcome to episode 11 of our 2017 Mustang Build Series. Uh, before we go ahead and get started on this episode, we have uh, a little bit of explaining to do. So while we were on the dyno, uh, one of the last runs of the day, we started smelling some type of honeycombs type smell and uh, we decided to look down at the rear brakes and they were cherry red. So we stopped, did a little bit of research and what we found is... What we found is that with the rear calibers being self-adjusting under excessive rotational force, they apply clamping pressure to help slow the vehicle down which might be good for an everyday car. With our car being on the dyno all day and potentially the track and stuff, not so good. I had the brakes applied while we're on a full dyno run, causing everything to basically turn red and melt. So our rotors are shot, our pads are shot, everything's bad. So we called up our friends at Bear and explained to them the whole situation. What they decided to do was is they sent us out a full set of race drag brakes for this vehicle. Uh, so thank you to Bear for sponsoring the brakes on this car and we're going to go ahead and get this stuff unpacked, get the factory brakes off the car and start putting these new ones on. You want to make sure you don't get into these things. So these are the rear brakes, look pretty fancy. Here's the front. So we have our front set and we have our rear set. One thing that's gonna be a, a change, I don't know if it's a downfall or a plus or whatever, but the rear brakes no longer will be able to use a parking brake. The factory one has a parking brake spring built into the caliber itself, which also made it so it was self-adjusting and everything else, and that's actually part of our problem. So with no parking brake, we're just gonna have to make sure we take um, extra safety precautions um, while we're driving and parking the vehicle, but we should hopefully have no more brake issues with the car itself. So no more parking brake, but we'll be able to make sure that we're okay with that. Along with our brakes, we have new stainless steel brake lines that we're going to be putting on um, instead of rubber ones. We want to make sure that we didn't have any problems. We did get the brakes pretty hot. Um, we want to make sure we didn't mess up the integrity of the brake lines. So I did go ahead and get a set of stainless steel ones so that we can put them on the car, make it so that we're good with that. And we did go over and get some racing brake, uh, brake fluid since we did get that fluid pretty hot. We don't want to take any chances with this. So we are doing a complete flush, changing out everything, starting fresh and go from there. Yep. They're bad. They actually have grooves in them. The other one, I think the other one goes that's about the worst. The grooves. They're smoked, that's for sure. It literally melted the powder coat off of it. Yep, I think they're bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to. When I went to go test fit the rotor on here, the backing plate's making contact, so I'm gonna take out these three, three bolts here, take the backing plate off, and we should have plenty of room to be able to fit the brake system on the back. Uh, I guess we can put the other the brake line on now. Cool. On to the next. Rear brakes are on. Let's go do the front.
Brakes are installed, and now it's time to bleed them. Trusty pressure bleeder here. So I don't have to get in the car now. Yep. Make it so you don't have to pump that pedal. Always looking out for it. We got our dot four racing brake fluid here. How's that commercial go? If the brakes don't stop it, something will. Well, we're gonna try that out here once we get these bled out. Mm -hmm. okay. That was much easier. I didn't have to do a thing. That's right. One more time, just to make sure there's no more last minute air bubbles, and then we can go for a test drive. Kick came with this fancy syringe to clean out all the bleeders to get rid of all the brake fluid that's in the bleeder to help prolong the life of the finish. Brakes all bled up. Let's get the wheels cleaned up, get all the brake dust from the old brakes off, get them back on there, and go for a test drive. That's a start. Yeah. Ready to go for a test drive? Let's go.
I'm going to downshift. Hopefully we're not going to go through. No downshifting. This is all brake power. Hey, we stopped. Now the red light with cars in front of us. How'd they feel? No problems. No vibration, no grinding, no pe pedal fade. Everything feels good. Fully bled? I All hope that so. good stuff? Yeah. It's, uh, there's, the, we got a nice firm pedal. It doesn't go to the floor. There's no surging. I, I think we got all the air out. I think we're, we're good to go. We'll um, go ahead and break these things in and see how they perform. made it all right the new bare brakes are on the car uh, the car feels good it stops which is a good thing so now we're gonna go ahead and get it back over to the dyno hopefully the third time is the charm and we don't break anything else or run into any issues uh, we do need to give another huge shout out to bear for sending us the brakes for this car um, this is gonna be it for episode 11. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We don't want you to miss out on any of the remaining episodes and we will see you on the next one.